This is the easiest and fastest tutorial you will find on ACF. And by the end of it, you will know exactly how to use it to build custom, dynamic websites with WordPress. If you've ever used it before, ACF or Advanced Custom Fields lets you add extra fields to your WordPress posts, pages, or even products. It's one of the most popular plugins in WordPress, but recently it went through a weird phase. In late 2024, the ACF team was suddenly blocked from pushing updates to the plugin. WordPress.org quietly replaced it with a forked version called Secure Custom Fields, and for a few weeks, millions of sites had no idea they weren't even running the original anymore. During that time, we stepped in and launched Morpheus, a fallback update system for WordPress plugins that kept ACF and others working even when the repo went dark. But the real ACF is back now, officially restored and maintained by the original team at WP Engine. So in this video, we are doing a full post-drama walkthrough of ACF, what it is, how it works, and how to set it up the right way in 2025. Before we start building, let's quickly go over what ACF actually does and why it's so useful. I'll use adding a quick custom as our example and show you exactly how to set up the post type, fields, taxonomy, and then display it all on the front end. Let's start by installing the ACF plugin. Head over to your WordPress dashboard, then look for advanced custom fields. Click install now, and once that's done, click activate. You should now see a new menu item in the sidebar. Now, if you're using ACF Pro, you can create post types and taxonomies directly inside the plugin. But since we're using the free version, we'll use a helper plugin called Custom Post Type UI. So let's go back to plugins and just search for CPT UI, install and activate it. Once it's active, a new option called CPT UI will appear in the sidebar. Hover over it and click Add or Edit Post Types. Now under Post Types Lug, type in Shoe. This is the internal name WordPress will use. Then scroll down to the Label section. For plural label, type Shoes. For singular label, type Shoe. Keep scrolling until you find the setting called Has Archive. Make sure this is turned on. This allows WordPress to create an archive page like slash shoe where all your shoe entries will be listed automatically. You can leave most of the other options as they are. We'll be keeping it simple for now. Once everything is filled out, click the Add Post Type button at the bottom. Now, if you check your WordPress sidebar, you'll see a brand new section called Shoes. If you click into it, you will notice it behaves like a normal post. You get a title, content box, a featured image, but nothing else. That's what we're about to change in ACF. Next, we'll set up all the custom fields to add actual product data like size, price, material, and gallery images. From your WordPress dashboard, look for the new custom fields menu in the sidebar and click on add new. At the top, give your field group a name Let's call it Shoe Details. This is just an internal label to help you stay organized, and it's where we'll define all the extra product information we want to collect for each shoe, like price, size options, material, and a downloadable size guide. Let's start with the first field. Click the Add Field button. In the field label, type Price. You'll see the field name autofill just below it. You can leave that as it is. Now change the field type from text to number since this will be a numeric value. If you want to make the price required, just toggle on the required switch below. And under the prefix setting, type in a dollar sign or your preferred currency symbol. This will show up before the number in the ad bin. Now let's add a size range field. Again, click on the add field button and set the label to size range. For the field type, you've got two options. If you want to keep it simple, choose text and let users type in sizes manually. But if you want more control, change the field type to select and then enter predefined sizes like UK6, UK7, UK8, etc. Make sure to enable multiple selections if your product comes in more than one size. Now let's add a material field. Click Add Field, set the label to Material and leave the type as text. This is great for something like mesh and synthetic or full grain leather. Once all your fields are set, scroll down to the location rule section. This tells ACF where to display this fields group. 
you'll see a drop down that says post type is equal to make sure it's set to show this means your custom fields will only appear when editing show posts not pages or blog posts that's it click publish at the top right now if you go to shows and click on add new you will see your custom fields appear right below the content editor ready for you to fill in price size range and material next we'll create a taxonomy to help you organize these products so you can sort or filter shoes by brand or type let's do that from your wordpress dashboard go to cpt ui in the sidebar and click on add or edit taxonomies at the top you'll see a field for taxonomy slug type in brand then scroll down to the label section for plural label enter brands for singular enter brand these labels will appear in the wordpress dashboard and on your product editing screen next look for the section that says attach to post types you'll see a list of available post types check the box next to show this makes sure the brand taxonomy only appears when editing your show products not on blog posts or pages keep scrolling and you'll come across a setting called hierarchical make sure this is enabled turning this on makes the taxonomy behave more like categories rather than tags for example you could nest nike under a broader category like sportswear later if needed you can leave most of the other settings at their default values for now once everything is set click the add taxonomy button at the bottom now if you go to shoes and click on add new you will see a new brand box on the right side of the editor just like categories or tags in regular wordpress posts you can start adding brands like nike adidas or new balance and assign them each show as you go this taxonomy is going to come in handy when we design the front end because it will allow users to filter shows by brand or visit dedicated pages for each brand all right now let's create our first product and fill in all the custom data we've set up at the top give your product a name something like nike air max that becomes the title of the page and will also appear on archive listings and search results in the main content area you can write a short description or some marketing copy a quick intro that gives context about the shoe think of it like a small paragraph that helps with seo now scroll down and you'll see all the custom fields we added earlier with acf for price enter something like 129.99 in the size range field select the available sizes maybe uk7 uk8 and uk9 for material type something like engineered mesh with react foam or whatever applies to your shoe next look over to the right side bar you'll now see the brand taxonomy box just like you would see the categories on a blog post if you already created a brand like nike go ahead and select it if not just type it in and hit enter to create it directly from here finally scroll down to the featured image section and upload a nice photo of the shoe ideally a clean side view of product shot once everything looks good click publish and that's it You've just created your first fully structured custom product using your own fields and taxonomy. Everything is saved inside the custom post type and all the product data is cleanly separated and easy to manage. Now, if you view the post on the front end, it will still use the default WordPress layout which doesn't show any of your custom fields yet. So next, we are going to design a proper product page using Elementor. To do this, you need Elementor. The free version is enough for basic layout but if you want to pull in custom fields like price or size Elementor Pro is ideal because it unlocks the dynamic tags feature from your WordPress dashboard go to templates and click on theme builder once you're in the theme builder click on single post then hit add new once you're inside the Elementor editor you'll see a blank canvas start by dragging in a featured image widget place it right at the top This will pull in the main product image you set when creating the shoe post. Below that drag in a heading widget. In the left panel click the small dynamic tag icon next to the text field and choose post title. This will automatically display the name of each shoe. Now we'll start adding the ACF fields. For the price drag in a text editor widget or a basic text widget if you prefer. Click on the dynamic tag icon again, choose ACF field. and from the drop down select price 
If you want to add a dollar sign or style, just type it manually before the dynamic tag. For example, dollar then the dynamic value. You can adjust the font, size or color like any other text element. For the size range, repeat the process. Drag in another text widget, click the dynamic icon, select ACF field and choose size range, depending on how you entered it. You can style this as buttons, pills or just regular text. Do the same for the material field, add a text widget, choose the ACF field from dynamic tags and select material. This gives you full flexibility to display the technical details of each shoe. Now for the size guide PDF, let's make it interactive. Drag in a button widget. In the left panel under the link field, click the dynamic tag icon, choose ACF field and select size guide. That will pull in the PDF file URL you uploaded. Set the button text to something like download size guide and style it however you like. Lastly, to display the brand, drag in a text widget or a post info widget. And for the dynamic content, choose post terms. In the settings, make sure it's pulling from the brand taxonomy. This will show the assigned brand like Nike or Adidas for each product. Once your layout is complete and everything is styled the way you want, click the green publish button. Elementor will now ask you to set conditions for when the template should appear. Choose include, click on shoes, then all, then hit save and close. This tells Elementor to apply this layout to every single post in your shoe custom post type. Now go to your site and open any shoe post. You will see your brand new product layout in action. All your ACF fields pulled in automatically, perfectly styled and 100% editable with Elementor. If you want to take this even further like creating a filterable product grid or setting up brand archive pages, let me know in the comments and I'll cover that in a follow up. Thanks for watching this and don't forget to like, subscribe and save this tutorial if this helped you out. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.